What's up, Raider Nation? Sesh Media Productions. I'll be frank. I just want to talk about the Raiders. Did you guess? Yeah. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. Yeah. But, uh, you already know. I have to admit, I started this session a little early and I was like, I need to hit the start button on this. My bad. But, um, yeah. Training camp. Still going. What I just heard the last couple of days, Darren Waller has been out. They didn't give an explanation why. I'm sure it's probably just rest or something like that. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> apparently he's been out. So who's been taking the extra reps? Brian Edwards. Someone I said when we drafted him that he will probably end up having a better career overall than Ruggs, but Ruggs is going to have most of the flashy type uh, highlight plays. But uh, I do believe Edwards is going to be the better wide receiver overall. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. I know a couple of people at least feel that he's going to be a really good wide receiver, even comparable to T.O., according to John Gruden, which is hell of a comparison. I don't know why anybody would, uh, you know, scoff at that, having that on your team, you know, being a pick. I think uh, sometimes our ability or process in choosing draft picks is a trip because we always seem to pick people that have issues whether it be injuries or off the field issues um you know we try to we try to get those gems we try to get the diamonds in the rough polish them up and make them look great and but sometimes uh the guys are are great already they just fell in the dirt they were polished they just fell they dropped <laughs> they dropped in the mud they got left behind real quick and, and we find them you know i think that's uh edwards and waller uh, the most uh, recent one that seems like he's ascending to star level waller that is is one of those guys that you know just he was already good he just had fell off you know and then uh edwards same way you know his injury uh really messed up his his draft stock you know i don't know if he had any more eligibility uh after his uh year you know <clears throat> but uh i don't know if he was a senior I, what i'm trying to say um but maybe he should have went back <laughs> he would have been a first rounder but i'm glad he didn't i'm glad we got him I'm glad we're we're uh, trending in the right direction. It seems like the message for camp and everybody seems to have that when they're talking about Gruden, it's is Super Bowl or bust. Now, for some of the fans, I don't think it's that way because we see it somewhat realistically how it uh, is all playing out and has played out for the last twenty years. So. Do we have the team? I think we would all feel a little bit better if we had at least two years in of uh, playoff appearances. Excuse me, under our belt before we go ahead and make such a claim. But I like it. I don't think there's anything really wrong with it um, when it comes to stuff like that. I mean, it's it's the NFL. If you're not playing for championships, what are you playing for? You know. Like, we've already been, oh, we're just trying to get a little bit better. We've gotten just a little bit better. Let's do, let's go to the next step, you know. Let's let's, let's ramp it up because that's what we really need to do. You know, um, the Raiders have been down for a while, but we're always it always seems like we're, you know, we're like hover right around good to bad. You know, like we're not the worst, but we're not the best. We're not the best, but we're kind of the best the you know not that great right now a lot of that has to do with our defenses over the years and we've had some crappy offenses too don't get me wrong um man 
but this year it does seem like a good year like people are buying in to the commitment to actually being excellent i think they're getting it now i know a lot of people were probably down on that message in 2017 because the way that john gruden kind of gutted everything for the first two years and now last year i mean the year before last um when we bring in that draft class, we got Farrell, we got Abrams, we got Josh Jacobs, um, Renfro, Max, you know the deal, you know the story, and uh, it's that's the foundation, and I think it is definitely what we needed, and I think that we hit, I think we hit on all of them, I know people are, are still say, oh, Klee, you know, he's not that guy or whatever, but he's been pretty consistent, and he's been pretty, uh, you know, he's been pretty good. I know he's not fourth pick overall, outstanding. You think he would have been in, you know, uh, he would have been an all pro or he would have been at least a pro bowl bid. He didn't get that. He hasn't gotten that yet, but he's still been pretty good. He's been pretty productive when on the field, and that is a plus. And that's what we need. Guys like that. Guys that aren't going to get frazzled when they don't get these astronomical stats and, uh, you know, things that are just one man involved. This is a team sport. As much as you could do for your team, the better. You know, I mean, you might be, you know, you go back to Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack, our guy, our old guy, dude was a, a pro bowler in two different sets. First person to ever do that great i mean it's fucking great what did it do for us one playoff appearance and you know unfortunately he didn't even have a great game in that game i don't think somebody tell me if i'm wrong but yeah man i just wanted to get on here and just uh, talk about the raiders and how much it's starting to come together as far as i can see it's starting to come together. Hearing Derek Carr talking about how he's making eye contact with rugs and stuff. Like, hey, we're going to do this. That's continuity. You need that. You need that to be successful. You need that going forward. And also with him and uh, Edwards building that continuity. It's going to be beautiful, man. I think this year... And we're going to surprise a lot of people because I know a lot of people don't even have us making the playoffs. I think that's a, I think that's false. I think that's the bare minimum for us, you know? I, I, I think that's the, that's the floor, you know? Uh, I think we got the guys, and we're starting to turn it up on defense. The steel is sharpening the steel. All that talk about, like, Tanner Muse. I made a video the other day talking about how they're saying Tanner Muse this, Tanner Muse that, which is great because we need guys to show and prove. That's the whole point of them. That's the whole point of drafting a guy where we drafted a guy for the uh, things that he had, his attributes, his speed, his height, uh, his versatility, you know. He's supposed to. But then Kudakowski gets out there and, and nabs two interceptions in two days you know i think john gruden said they're pick sixes that's beautiful we need that that's that defense that we're going to have to rely on going into the future it is a must it is a must just like this there's a must man because you know what life is stressful Sometimes you just need to unstress, you know, unwind, not be so uptight, not be so worried about what's what, you know, except for the Raiders. You need to worry about what's going on with the Raiders. You need to be into what's going on with the Raiders because it's the nation. Who doesn't love the nation? Who doesn't want the nation to do well? I know I do. It's just something that has to happen. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen real soon. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like the video, please like it. Please subscribe while you're liking the video. Why not? It's for free. And then you get to see more of me. And even if you didn't and you didn't like it, guess what, motherfucker? 
I'm still gonna make videos. Because it's the Raiders, bitch. I don't know what else to do. Anyway, I'll be Frank. You be you. Till next time. Peace.